Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to Football Manager 2022 and part two of the South Shields Road to Glory Challenge. And today we have got a massive match in the Northern Premier League Premier Division against Warrington. They are top of the table. We've come in. We've done very, very well with Shields so far, so we will see uh, how all that's gone in a minute. But uh, if we beat Warrington today... There's an outside chance we could still win this title, in my opinion. So that is a massive one. We're then taking on Ashton United, uh, who are in uh, our league in the uh, Integro League Cup. We're in the quarterfinal stage. So again, we get through that. We get the semi-final and we're then in with a good chance of actually winning the whole thing and, and getting our first bit of silverware in the bank as well so thank you for the incredible support on part one if we could hit 50 likes on this video that would be absolutely fantastic so get smashing that like button down below and let me know down in the comments section where do you think we're going to finish this season you might want to watch at least the first match before you put that comment in there though i must admit so since you were last with me things have gone rather well we of course start off with that wonderful 4-1 victory over Basford United. We then went on to beat Bamba Bridge 5-0 away from home with Kempster, Bordenham uh, uh, and uh, Osai scoring alongside uh, to Sean Walter's double header. Uh, and then we beat Gainsborough Trinity 2-0 away from home with Natumbo Masanka getting a, a brace there, meaning that we are currently in fifth position in the Northern Premier League Premier Division. And... Uh, we're on 54 points from 32 games, two points clear of Mikelova in sixth place. So we're, we're looking good for the playoffs at the moment. Uh, however, we are eight points behind top of the table, Warrant and Badsford United are also on 62, not in as good form though. So yeah, we will see how it goes. Uh, the season preview, they, they we were overwhelming favourites for this uh, title. So I suppose, <laughs> you know, we'd only be doing what's expected of us really but uh, a quick look at squad performances top goal scorer is uh 14 for natumba masanka nine for callum ross seven for kempster top assists is alex Kemp kempster with 14 12 for robert briggs top average rating uh, a couple of new players in the squad uh david norris 7.5 and uh, jay ben a 7.4 but alex kempster the best performer over the season 7.34 so uh, speaking of those new signings, uh, here they come. David Norris, a 40-year-old, uh, of course played for Portsmouth back in the day um, in 2011-2012, I remember that. But, uh, you know, played in the championship for many, many years for uh, Plymouth, Ipswich, Portsmouth, Leeds, and uh, has slowly dropped down the leagues. He's 40 years old now, hasn't actually played in the Premier League. If he sticks around... Another 10 years, maybe he will play in the Premier League with ourselves. I mean, that's setting a, a very ambitious target of getting to the Premier League in 10 years. I'm not sure that's going to happen, but he is still a very good player. He's come in from Lancaster on a free transfer. We've weakened one of our rivals. He had a very good season for them. He's come in and he played very, very well in that last match. So I think uh, he could be a good signing for the rest of the season. Uh, Stuart Isles has come in as well into the under-18 squad, a 16-year-old, uh, uh, sorry, one-and-a-half star current ability, four-star potential. We'll see how he gets on. Jay Ben has come in from FC Halifax on loan. He's a 20-year-old English right-back. Um, has had a, a decent amount of game time for them in the Vanarama National this season. So it seems wise to me uh, to bring him in. OK, he only started 12 games, but he has been playing two leagues above this level. And, and certainly if you win League One, I think you'd like that. Um, so three-star current ability, five-star potential. We're not paying anything for him. We've just brought him in on loan and uh, he will be here till the end of April. And finally, we've brought in Zach Brown, a uh, 21-year-old English uh, central midfielder. He can play anywhere in the middle or behind the striker. Looks pretty good. Three-star current ability, five-star potential has come in from Premier League West Brom, or at least they were in the Premier League last season. So that's where we're at. Things are going well. We've brought in some players just to beefen out the squad a little bit. Obviously, at the end of the season, we'll have a big clear out. We'll do a plan of what we want to do going forward. But 
Um, for the moment, the, the, the idea is we want to get promoted to the National League, uh, League North. That, that's the... That's the plan this season, at the very least. So, this is the team that we are going to put out there today against uh, Warrington. So, we've got Boney starting goal. We've got Omazusi at right back with Mawson, Bordenham in the centre back positions and Blair Adams at left back. We've then got Briggs and Hunter in the middle of the park and Kempster starting right, uh, T starting in the middle and Walter starting left, all supporting Natumba Masanka up top. We've obviously got five a players on the bench, ready and raring to go when uh, when we are ready. <clears throat> uh, I am going to put David Norris on the bench instead of uh, McGowan, just because I think David Norris could make more of a difference, and I do trust him uh, to play in the, the sort of positions I would ask McGowan to. So let's get into it. It is going to be a tough match, of course, against Warrington. They are top of the league for a reason, I'm sure. This is going to be uh, the hardest match of our tenure so far. But if we go out there and we make a statement, this could give us the confidence to go out there and really perform between now and the end of the season, keep getting those wins, keep building the, the momentum, and maybe even go up as champions. That would be ideal, because I don't fancy playoffs, if I'm completely honest. Here's uh, Jordan Hunter gets it to Walters now. Into the middle, header from Kempstern. It's a good save from Atherton in goal there. And uh, booted clear straight away. Header by Omazusi. Here's Kempster. We're pushing forward again. Uh, First Cloud Arena is looking much fuller today. Here's Omazusi to Connor T now. Into the middle. And Masanga hits the bar. Well, well, well. We've had two decent chances so far in this match. It hasn't quite gone to plan yet, though. T into the middle of Morse with the header. Doesn't work this time, unfortunately for us. But uh, a good start nonetheless. Here's Omazusi. Gets it in. Kempster away. Here's Omazusi again. Omazusi on the ball. Gets it to Morse. Here's Briggs to Hunter now. Here's Masanka. Ho, ho, ho. Over the bar. But this is a very good start. I think we encourage the boys. We tell them that we're, we're proud of them. Let's keep them going for the moment. And that looked like a, a highlight there. But ended straight away. Here's uh, Omazusi into the middle now. Here's Walters. Nope, end of highlight. End of highlight, I think. Nope, it's going to keep going forward. Boarding him to Hunter. He has Briggs on the ball. Briggs out wide to Omazusi now. Omazusi, what's he going to do with it? Gets it back into Kempster. Kempster into the middle. Walters with the header. Oh, my word, that was close. And, and it just feels like it's not going to be our day to day because um, here, come, here come the boys, basically. Boney away. Roberts, end of highlight. But look at this, eight shots, three on target. We've been by far the better team. Here's Briggs with a free kick. He whips it in. Oh, it's off the bar again. Three times we've hit the woodwork now. Unbelievable. Well, we're going to encourage them. Come on, boys. Let's get going. Here's Adams with the corner. Whips it in. It's a header by Morse. Nope, it's away. Was that a penalty shout in there? Who knows? There was some pushing, some shoving. Here's Omazusi. We're building from the back once again. Omazusi to Walters now on this left-hand side. Can he whip it in? Walters still going. Here's Hunter to Adams in the middle. Connor T to Robert Briggs and it's in. And Robert Briggs has scored. And he's broken the deadlock. And now the floodgates can open because we are 1-0 up in this match. And that's what I think we needed just Get it in the back of the net, son. And that's exactly what he's done. Look at this. He just stands there very coolly. And I don't know what the keeper was doing. But, hey, he's worked out. Just stick it on target. Don't put it anywhere near the posts because it'll hit it. But uh, here's Masanka. Back to Briggs. To Walters. Here's Blair Adams on the left-hand side. Can he whip it in? No, it's Hunter and it's cleared away. Now then, here's a Bordenham on the ball. Bordenham still going. Gets it in cleared here he is now boarding him to morse morse on the ball here's kempster kempster four to t t to masanga now masanga back to adams here's briggs now oh, oh mazusi over the bar oh my word this is not good on the old ticker goodness me but uh heading towards half time now and it looks like we are going to be one nil up 
which, hey, we'd take 1-0 at full time, but we'd love to absolutely smash Warrington and really down their confidence going into the run-in. Here's Hunter, gets it to um, Briggs again. Here's Masanka, back to Briggs over the top. Here's Wallace now. Wallace with a shot and Wallace scores. And some reason he didn't go to the left-hand side of the goal, he went to the right-hand side. We'll watch that again in slow-mo, but I really don't care because Wallace has stuck it into the back of the net and he has managed to score it. Ball over the top. Wallace was there. Why is he not shooting there? I don't know, but the, the keeper should be absolutely ashamed. He's slipped on the mud. And, uh, well, it's 2-0 now going into half-time unless Warrington can come back and spoil our party. But Omazusi, what a sign and he's been. Here's Kempster now on the right-hand side. What can he do with it? He pushes it forward to Briggs. Here's Connor T. Now Hunter to Masanka. Hunter to Walters. Walters forward to Blair Adams. And Walters is there again. And this time... The keeper manages to save it, and that is half time in this match. 2 0. And what a performance so far. We have been absolutely brilliant. And you have to say, this, is, this has been top tier. And this is exactly what we want from our team. We want to be pushing forward. If we win every match from now until the end of the season, I think we will win the title. So we've just got to focus every single game. Let's get that victory. That's what we want um, to try and turn this around. So, 65 minutes gone then. Let's see what we can do. Uh, Jordan Hunter is going to come off. We'll put Callum Ross on for him. Um, we'll bring on David Norris as well, give you a look at him. We'll put him on for Kempster on that right-hand side. I think he should be able to play there. There's, there's no reason why not. Um, and we might bring Masanga off. He's not really done a lot today. So, we'll get Darius Osai on there. Here's uh, T, gets it up to Kempster. I bet you Masanka's about to score, is he? Here's T, back to Omazusi, to Hunter, to Briggs, T, all the way back to Dylan Morse. Here's Omazusi to Kempster. Oh my word, that would have been a fabulous goal. But no, we'll bring the, the three pairs of fresh legs on and, and we'll see how they get on. Morse forward doesn't manage to get it further. Then Roberts, here's Story. Now to Duggan. Macreth to Duggan. Moi. No, Moles. I have no idea. Let's have a little look. Mo Moles? Moles? No idea. Here's David Norris on the ball, and he played really well last time out. And there you go. He doesn't look for it, does he? Here's Ross to Boddenham to Walters on the left hand side. Four to a side to Briggs. Now Ross. Four to a sign, that's in. Is it offside? Apparently not. Sixth goal of the season for Darius Asai. And uh, I'll tell you what, Walters has had an excellent game today. Briggs has played pretty well as well. Uh, the two substitutes linking up there. Ross into uh, Darius Asai. And it's now 3-0. And that is three points in the bag. And it would be very nice to keep the clean sheet as well. We've, we've been defending very, very well so far in our tenure at South Shields and, and we are looking by far the best team in the league which who knows why they were in seventh position Graham Fenton really struggled with them uh, Ross forward here's Atherton on the ball now boots are clear header here's Dixon Dixon with a shot it's off the bar and that goal just does not like goals in it and plenty of times it's hit the woodwork today but look how many shots we've had goodness me 30 in this match it's like it's like we're playing a team in the league below but these are top of the league these are top of the league Briggs Adams here's Ross Nope, end of uh, end of our highlights. What about theirs? Here's Clark, gets it forward to Curran now. Curran on the ball, whips it in. Dixon's there, but Adams clears, and that's a, another good bit of defending. Can we win this ball back? That's forward to Curran. Into the middle it goes, and it's a shot, and Dixon scores, and that's a shame that we didn't get that clean sheet there. That was... A little bit sloppy, that goal to concede. And it was Curran again on this left-hand side. Whipped it in. Morse just didn't do anything there. That's disappointing. But uh, that is still going to be a 3-0 victory by the looks of it. And there it is. Full time. 
We give it the good old fist pump and we head out of First Cloud Arena with another three points in the bank. And that is going to be crucial come the end of the season, I reckon. And uh, maybe that's where we will come back later on. Of course, we've still got the uh, League Cup match today, but we'll see. Let's have a look on the schedule and what we got. So uh, we've still got quite a way. Um, let's see how we get on in the, in the League Cup and then we can plan what we're going to do about next episode after that. OK, here we are then for the match against Ashton United. A couple of little changes. Uh, we've brought in Jay Ben to start at right back because uh, Omazusi looking quite tired. We've brought in Callum Ross for a fairly tired Robert Briggs and uh, Connor T has come off for David Norris. So uh, uh, just a few little rotation options. That's what we've brought in to the, the, the club. And I, I think that's going to be really important between now and the end of the season because particularly after... Uh, a few of our games were postponed. We, we've had a lot of matches uh, recently, you know, one ones in midweek, ones at the weekend. And, uh, oh, goodness, th there was a player that just turned around. He went, nah, not having it. Um, <laughs> that was funny. Uh, here's Adams. Oh, well, that's... Oh, is that... Oh, that would have been hilarious if that had gone in. But uh, Hartley's got it. It's cleared away. Header from... Uh, Morse now out from Norris. It was a good little live here, yeah, but couldn't quite pull it off. It's it's great to have him in the squad. It's it's like having Julio Arca again, you know, when when we had Julio Arca at the club. Um, just that bit of experience, somebody that's been up there and can produce that special performance now and then um, and roll back the years. And Kempstead, just wide, unlucky there. But um, hopefully it's just inspiring the boys to have a, a name like David Norris in this squad. Who, who has been there and done it in the Football League. And I'm certainly really excited to have him. Uh, you know, I've seen him come up on the scout reports and I was like, A, I can't believe you're still playing. <laughs> and B, yes, come and play for South Shields then. Um, so that's what we did. That's what we did. Uh, now, obviously, because we've rotated a little bit, it does mess with the momentum slightly of, of that last match but um, I would have expected that we'd be 1-0 up by now at the very least so let's tell them that it's not good enough uh, Dylan Morse is going to come off because he is looking tired and he's on a yellow card and I can see that going very very wrong Masanka now having a great game again it didn't have a good game last time out he has been into Kempster, Ben again, Ross. He has Agnew. Oh, my word. What a goal from Dom Agnew. Now, Agnew is a defender slash striker, I think. So maybe that's why he's so good at finishing. You seem to get that a lot at this level. Uh, and Dion Dublin did a bit of it as well back in the day. But wow, wow, wow. Lovely little ball from Ross. And that is a special goal from uh, Dom Agnew, who isn't apparently um, <laughs> a defender striker. John Shaw is, but uh, yeah, I thought Dom Agnew was as well. Maybe not. But anyway, he is now after that beautiful finish. He is Hunter now on the ball. Jordan Hunter with the shot and it's uh, saved by Hartley. It was quite a tame shot in the end, has to be said. Could have done a lot better than that. So... Yeah, let's see how things are going. Redshaw, Norris to Ross. Here's Kempster over the top and Masanka now on the ball. Can he make up for his poor performances so far? Yes, he can. Natamba, no, Natumba Masanka with the goal. Absolutely brilliant. 15 for the season for him. It'll be interesting to see if he can make the step up to National League North level if we do, in fact, get there which we're expecting now, I think. You know, even if we have to go to the playoffs, we can we can focus in on those three, possibly four matches. Um, Walters is going to come off. We'll put a sigh on for him. Kempster can come off as well, and we'll stick on uh, Robert Briggs on that right-hand side. Here's Serpies. Serpies again. Come on, let's get that ball back. Ford. Redshaw hits the bar, bottom him away. Here's Kempster. Nope. End of highlight. 
End of highlight. So five minutes left. And it looks like we are going to head through to the semi-final of the Integral League Cup. And there it is. Another victory, another solid performance. And it seems like later in the match, that is when we are starting to take our advantage. We're a little bit fitter. Of course, we're a professional outfit, so we're training more than the guys around us. And, and surely that is going to help. But uh, there you go. We are through the semi-final. And we will have a chance of winning it. Uh, I would like to see when we are going to play that semi-final. Um, is it on here yet? Yes, it is. So the, that semi-final comes just after our match with FC United of Manchester. That might be a good time to come back. Yeah, go on then. If we come back for the FC United and... Um, Integro League Cup semi-final then hopefully if we're in a position where we can get promoted we'll come back for Nantwich and the final of the League Cup that's the plan anyway so if you've enjoyed that give it a big thumbs up down below subscribe for plenty more uh, FM22 content in the future and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye